Resting back control, Lebanese troops rush into the town of Arsal. Syrian fighters have stormed across the border before, but never this deep, nor have their attacks been this brazen. They take over a police station, capture soldiers and fire on local residents. Their demand for the Lebanese military to release a Nusra Front leader arrested earlier on Saturday. This is a renewed attempt, like previous ones, to drag the most populated town of Arsal into a fight with the army. We have witnessed events like this before. Fighting with the army a few months ago left an officer dead. Arsal is mainly Sunni. Most of the town's residents back the Syrian uprising against President Bashar al-Assad. It's also regarded as a transit point for weapons and rebels entering Syria. In recent years, Arsal's population has swelled, with tens of thousands of Syrian refugees settling there. Arsal is one of the biggest towns. The infiltration of gunmen into this town means a lot when it comes to both human and political costs. The Lebanese army has other missions in the north, in the capital, in the south, and in the Bekaa Valley as well. In a statement, the Lebanese army says its forces are back in control of Arsal. Lebanese security forces are now regularly having to deal with violence from the Syrian conflict spilling into the country. Like all countries bordering Syria, trying to keep the war out is increasingly difficult. Jane Ferguson, Al Jazeera, Beirut.